As Nigeria prepares to host the world in the World Economic Forum for Africa, May 7 to 9, the Global Shapers Community, an integral part of the World Economic Forum, visits the Nigerian Stock Exchange ahead of its own planned summit, 5th to 6th, where it promises to network young people who are bringing ideas and solutions to challenges in Africa. At the Stock Exchange, the CEO, Mr. Oscar Onyema, received a team led by Mr. Yemi Babington Ashai. Please join me in giving a warm NSC welcome to the Global Shepherds of the World Economic Forum. The Global Shapers uh, community is a network of uh, hubs ac across the, the world, and uh, they will be explaining um, a few things to you. But let me first of all start by introducing the representatives that are up here with me. So we have Mr. Yemi Badenton, uh, he's the director and global, uh, of the Global Shaper community, to my right. And then to my, le uh, to my left, I have uh, Ms. Joyce Awo Jojo, who is the technical assistant to the Honorable Minister of Power, but also the curator of the Abuja Global Shapers Hub. I have Mr. Saliu Yakasi, he's, he's the, uh, global, he's the um, curator of the Kano uh, Hub and uh, presentation assistant, right? Of, yeah. And then we also have. Um, okay, we also have Chidiogo Akunyeli, who is the um, head of Africa for the Global Shapers Community. And then we have the Anwili uh, uh, Ojoku, the, the uh, curator of the Lagos Hall. Yeah. We have. Executive Committee members of the exchange here uh, flanking us. Let me ask uh, Yemi to make a few remarks. Okay. So my name is Yemi Davinson Ashaye. I'm the director of the Global Shapers Community. Thank you for the time. Thank you to the CEO, Oscar Onyema. Thank you to all of the Stock Exchange for honoring us today. The Sh Global Shapers Community is a local, kind of a global network of local communities. Each local community is based in a city. And we have young people in their 20s who join. A lot of them are CEOs. People, some people in the Guinness Book of World Records, some of them are stars. Some of them you've never heard of before. Some of them work in, the, in schools as teachers, some are doctors, police officers. So a very diverse community, and we ask them to work together to do something positive locally. We started this in 2011. Today we have 327 hubs across the entire world. The Rotary Club has two in China. We have 17. In India we have 25. In the USA we have 30. We're in every Latin American country except Cuba. We're in every African country, including Somalia, Central African Republic, Angola. We have five hubs in South Africa. And here at home in Nigeria, we have three hubs. I'm counting. But what is even more magical is what they are doing. They are building libraries, releasing people from prisons, providing water and sanitation, helping rehabilitate prisoners, training entrepreneurs. The, the action is really, really inspiring. So thank you for hosting us today. One of the biggest ways you can support young people who are trying to positively impact their communities. One of the biggest ways you can support them is by showing them that you're paying attention. Telling them, ah, we know there's a hub in Lagos. What are you guys up to? Abuja, what are you guys up to? They have answers for you. But today, by doing this in such a public way, you're making a big statement. Speaking on the Global Shapers, Mr. Yemi Babington Ashaye described the hub as one that connects young people in their 20s who have ideas and who have solutions to the challenges in the continent, considering the demography of Africa, which is about 40% under 15 and 70% under 30. Good afternoon, Mr. Yemi, from the Global Shapers uh, of the World Economic Forum. Uh, first, tell us about what the Global Shapers have been doing and about the strategic conference coming up in Nigeria, how critical it is to Nigeria and Africa. 
Okay, fantastic. Thank you. The Global Shapers community exists to improve the world one community at a time. So we have young people who come together and do something locally. We have here with me Joyce, who's curator of the Abuja Hub, so she can give you examples. But beyond Abuja, let's talk about Abuja. For example, Lagos is very passionate about entrepreneurs. And so they run these workshops where if you want to start a business, you come, they, they, you have an hour or two, but you make a pitch, they give you feedback. Or they can tell you how to put your pitch together. They've recently had a great success where somebody who came to one of their workshops had an idea about selling Akara. So they helped this person put it together, put a budget together. So when this person went to make a pitch to financial institutions, they got the money. The money they were asking for was 700,000 naira. They got 1 million because they made the pitch so well, but it was also very detailed. We have shapers connecting schools to the internet. So in Addis Ababa, they found several public schools with fully equipped computer labs, but no connection to the internet because there was no budget. So they raised funds enough to connect 10 schools and we help to connect them to the government. We have shapers, uh, in, for example, in Bamako, in Mali. They go to disadvantaged neighborhoods downtown and they set up free Wi-Fi hotspots. So if you have your smartphone or your computer, you don't need to go to city center. There in your so-called slum, you can access and bridge that uh, divide. There are many more examples. They're doing blood drives, uh, bringing water to communities that don't have water. And of course, they can't replace government. You know, they can't replace big civil society organizations, but they can also do something. We exist for two reasons. We see young people as part of the solution, not just part of the problem. Very often when you hear the discourse on young people, we describe them as part of the problem. We see them as part of the solution. That's what the Global Shapers Community stands for. What way to demonstrate that? Well, they'll demonstrate it. They get together, they organize, they raise funds, they make it happen. The second reason we exist, and there's only two, is we believe any time decisions are being made, young people must have a seat at the table. And we're specifically going to center on agriculture, technology, entrepreneurship, and education. And it's a way for all of us who are doing impactful projects across the continent to come together and really serve as a forum to think about how we can take it to the next level. We all know the problems. The time is to bring the solutions and bold solutions at that. Are you expecting uh, young CEOs across the world from producer Absolutely. We have CEOs, activists, entrepreneurs, public sector officials. We have farmers. The Global Shapers are a diverse group of people, and we cut across all stratas and all divisions and all sectors. The theme of the entire meeting is forging inclusive growth, comma, creating jobs. So it's good and well that Africa is growing faster than most of the regions. That's good and well. It's good and well that we're going to have um, you know, today Nigeria is the largest economy in Africa. That's all good and well. But to what extent are we sharing that growth? To what extent are we making sure that the population is also better off? You know that by the year 2035, McKinsey re released a job report that suggests Africa will have a larger labor force than China and larger than India. That's 2035. It's not far away. So we, the biggest question is jobs. 